Welcome to the Krish Marketing Podcast, your go-to resource for mortgage and real estate professionals as well as fellow marketers. Join your host, Krish Dokia, an award-winning Chief Marketing Officer at Kind Lending, LLC, bringing over 20 years of expertise in crafting successful marketing campaigns for billion-dollar organizations. Now sit back and relax while you listen to valuable insights and strategies to elevate your marketing game in the competitive world of real estate and mortgages. All right, welcome back to another episode of the Chris Marketing Podcast. I have a very special guest, uh, one of my colleagues, one of my really good work best friends, uh, Delfino Aguilar. He's our Chief Production Officer at Kind TPO. He has had a very long uh, history uh, and mortgage career or just career in the industry. Um, he and I worked together years ago uh, at a former company. We're here together now at Kind. Um, we've done a lot of speaking. I've been a guest on his podcast twice. So I owe him for him to be a guest. Oh, he owed me, actually. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but what's funny is uh, the last pos- podcast I was on with you, Bell, I had the same exact jacket on. I, it's like my now, my jacket is my skate. So welcome to the podcast. We are going to talk a lot about everything marketing, but you've done a lot recently. Um, we see you everywhere. You're speaking on the speaking circuit this year. Um, you've written articles. Tell us a little bit about what you do, what you've got going on, so our mortgage brokers and agents and everyone that's listening can learn a little bit about you. Yeah, no, thank you, Chris, for having me. It's it's wonderful to be a guest on what you're doing is great for uh, getting the word out on marketing, all things marketing, but only that, like the industry in general. So. Thank you. And you are my BFF. Don't tell the others about that. All right. But you are, you know, I enjoy working with you and what you're doing here for the brand is it's just phenomenal. Right. I think we're over 10,000 followers now on LinkedIn. Uh, fastest growing uh, mortgage company on there, too, as well. So all that's because of you guys. So thank you for that. Um, you. you know, for us at Kind, what, what we're doing right now, we're focusing on a lot. Like we really feel that 2024 is going to be our biggest year ever. And you know, obviously, we're the seventh largest lender in the wholesale space. We started at number 400, right? I was the first salesperson here. Uh, you know, um, so it was great to see that now we have 65 AEs uh, here at Kind and continuing to build. So we're focusing on still growing the channel, um, you know, but a lot of that comes into play with marketing. You know, a lot of the partnerships that you and I put together, the branding, uh, the speaking events, the push that we're doing in non-QM. We also hired somebody that's sales focused in non-QM, right? Today's her first day. So Wendy Lisa started today. She's a great addition to us. She's going to be the SVP of production in the non-QM side. So that's exciting. So, but all this is, all this excitement, Krish, comes through you, right? The marketing, getting the word out. So you and I partner really well together. So I'm excited about that too. Absolutely. Absolutely. We, you know, we spent the last couple of days, uh, we, we've been, you know, we're always strategizing. We're always talking. Yep. Marketing, uh, what's, what's refreshing at Kind is marketing has a seat at the table, right? And our leaders, uh, you know, whether they touch marketing or not, it's they all understand our, our, our value, the value add that we bring. And, you know, through those strategies, we, you know, it's no longer just a buzzword, you guys, right? AI. And when I was on your podcast last time, I, I said, it's a buzzword. In that, in that short amount of time, it's a reality. Yeah, there's no absolutely no escaping it. And I was talking to some of my team members today. It's how do we how do we not just uh, do a little bit of AI? How do we build the machine? Yes. And, and and we we you know we don't go out telling people we're a tech first company. Which I mean, if you look at our broker portal, you would you would think that we're just a tech company, right? Because it's so awesome. But AI has to be a part of the equation, and there's no escaping it. And uh, so anyway, so I'm super excited about our, our, our pivot there or our strategy there. And again, everyone's like, let's do it. Let's make it happen. How do we make it happen? Let's get it done. Uh, but marketing is also, uh, it, unlike a lot of organizations, the way they're set up in their mortgage industry, and marketing isn't one of those that like we are secretive, 
<laughs> right? Especially when you're someone like me that has the gift of gab and just goes out and tells everyone everything right now. But you have to hold some things close to your heart. But others, uh, we, there's a really good, unique forum in the mortgage space, uh, even outside of the mortgage industry and the you know retail and uh, shopping, whatever, right? The CMOs and the leaders talk to one another. I mean, the challenges uh, are very similar, right? Uh, whether it's bandwidth or uh, innovation or, you know, these, these blockers and, and red tape. Uh, we all discuss these things like, man, like, you know, so AI is the topic. I'm speaking at a couple of events coming up. You're, you're doing a lot of speaking and it's funny. It's, uh, well, it's not funny. It's true because you're ingrained in marketing as well. And I think that's why you and uh, other leaders in this t- in this organization, we gel so well because you get it, right? I, I should be afraid because if Dell wanted my job, he could probably get it, right? And and uh, I couldn't do the same for his. You know, uh, I'm good, man. You, you, the creative um, brain is definitely you guys, you know, there. And um, But I do feel that, you know, the marketing is a very important piece to any business, okay? And getting the word out. But it's not just getting the word out, Chris, yep. as you know. It's having a message within it, right? A call to action, um, a, a maybe a follow up in it as well, too, right? Reach out to your AE or your loan officer, whatever it is. And I think that's one of the focuses that you're having this year in that call to action. And and you being so ingrained in marketing, it's 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 really marketing is is important. But I think in our sector, you need someone in your chair that understands the industry, and you do. Right. So that that's been a big help for us as well, too, to help understanding, you know, how do you connect with the broker or loan officer? How do you connect with the processor? How do you make them feel comfortable in a tile or a post, either LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, whatever we're using to make them build trust? And I think Absolutely. that's one of the most important pieces of the marketing aspect that I've seen is that. We really focus on building that connection. Obviously, we want you talk about AI and we're talking about a lot of automation here um, at our company to help expand with all the growth that we're having. We're having here, excuse me. But I think that connecting with the consumer, the broker, the loan officer is extremely important. Right. And so driving that message is a very key part. So I think you guys are doing a great job of that. But what, what do you feel? What do you see that's happening out there on that? part Chris because yeah. you, you're involved in a lot of different aspects of of different channels you know you're part of some boards out there so what are you seeing the need in yeah I, I think I think you know for mortgage specifically so whether you're a broker AE loan officer whoever even a real estate agent that might be right. we have to be so nimble on oh sorry so flexible all the time flexibility is the key to success here in this industry, especially in this is. day, right? This year, this month, this week, uh, with the rates and with the product shifts and, and all these things that uh, you know that we don't have all that much control over, other than the you know the the magical algorithm that exists that dictate rates and all of these things, right? And so, from a marketing perspective, uh, you know, and uh, we, you and I talked about this in your podcast. I talk, I. I I talk about this until I'm blue in the face and I'm brown. It's hard to make me blue, but you get get my 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 uh, uh, analogy there. Um, is we have to have authenticity, and and also speaking from a good place. And I think that you know at Kind Lending we 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 center everything around by not taking sides, not taking stances, being apolitical, making sure that. You know, our message resonates with more than just the one person, but also resonates with that one person. Right. Mm-hmm. And so uh, throwing out blanket statements like we are the, you know, we are the solution to all end all be all when you might not be telling the full truth. We are right. cognizant of that. Okay, We don't go out and, and empty promises. That's not what our marketing is is about. We don't sell products. We don't promote products. We don't sell, right? right. We, don't, we don't. We don't promote the things that uh, you know might be. Again, think about consumer behavior. They they people pivot to things that interest them. But just because you're taking this cheap shot, uh, we will never take that cheap shot uh, from our marketing uh, messaging, our visuals. We are very authentic in that. So the the advice I have for and you know I'm I'm a marketing professional, so maybe I can give. Marketing, marketing, yeah. 
is continue to be authentic, your authentic self. Um, now, Miguel, I know that you are uh, excited that we have this market brokers market better platform that we launched earlier this or late last year, actually, with webinars, with a Facebook group. And our mortgage brokers have really been receptive to that. They have been. Yeah. If you're listening today and you're not subscribed to that or joining these monthly webinars, definitely do. Because when I before mentioned that it's never a secret, it's not a secret. Marketing should never be a secret, right? In fact, you can Google, uh, you know, marketing tips and tricks and whatever. And yes. be, it's a rabbit hole. It's a rabbit hole. What we've done uh, effectively and my team has done is pull the top things and that's what you get served up. Right. Mm -hmm. Here's the top things you could be doing right now because we are in such a cyclical business. We and, are. And you could be, think that your email marketing is the number one tool today. Well, tomorrow it's something else. And right. uh, there are some core things, uh, but some of the brokers that we've talked to, they're just, you know, they're superstar marketers, but how they, they, they oftentimes stuck on what's next. That's right. Yeah. I, th I think what's next is, is what everybody is focused. We're in a society, I think sometimes where we want instant gratification, right? Like if I order my Uber Eats, I always hit that priority. I know people might be shocked that I order a lot of Uber Eats, but I do, right? But, um, you know, it's quick and easy, especially when I'm here in the office. Which, by the way, I'm here in the office today and it's a lot of great energy here today and it's awesome being here. Um, and I, I think that just being authentic, Krish, mm -hmm. is a lot of, have you seen those posts on Instagram? It's like, you know, um, you say Instagram on one screenshot and you flip it and reality is oh, the yeah. next, right? It's kind of like a joke thing. But I think that in the lending space in particular, being authentic mm -hmm. is where it's going to be at, okay? Yeah. Giving giving people that connection, um, you know, being able to trust someone with your business. I, I can tell you that we focus a lot on our AEs here. We have somebody very special. We have a lot of special AEs here, but... Um, Nicole Foster. So Nicole Foster, I've known each other since 2012. Okay. And I think about how she handles her business. Okay. And if you follow her on LinkedIn, you got to give her a, a like um, on her, on her, um, on her page for LinkedIn. She does a lot of um, benefit, a benefit, uh, what I like to call benefit posts, right? Like showing a benefit of the industry or, or a kind of a quick tip, whatever, but they're very authentic of who she is. Very positive person, a person that wants to genuinely help, right? And so it, even outside of the industry, not just in the industry, but outside of it. And I think that gravitates people to her. I think that gravitate, uh, some of our AEs love to pick her brain and what she does because she's that positive influence out there, right? And that's a big thing. And you know why? Because she's authentic, right? Nice. Very authentic. And, and And that's what makes her very successful too. She's awesome. I've known her for a long time and she she connects with her customers and that being authentic mm -hmm. helps you connect okay and you you kind of takes down the barriers of of a sale or a relationship when they feel hey you know what this is a genuine conversation i'm going to give it all i got right not just hearing you i'm listening to you you know and so i i think that's really important in this day and age mm -hmm. i also think you, you you touched on earlier about the brokers are better okay and um I think a lot of times in this in this cycle, you say this business is cyclical and it is. But I think anybody who's giving something to someone is easier to partner with. Right. So I'm we're giving this benefit to our brokers and saying, hey, we want to help you get more loans. That's what we're here to do. And that's the approach we take and everything we do here at Kind, Krish. Yeah. It really is. And, and either if you're a broker that's not partnering with us now, if you're an AE looking to move, all the lenders are great out there. They're all doing something great. And they're, and they're great. And I think competition is awesome. The power of choice you hit on it is extremely important. That's why we're brokers and loan officers, TPO space, the power of choice. But I think also being able to give, right? Like how can we provide you services that are not just, let me fund your, your FHA loan and put a CTC. Yeah, CTC in eight days. But, you know, a lot of people are doing CTCs in eight days right now, right? So what else are lenders doing to separate themselves? So I, I think that's that's why what you're doing is so important, Chris, and I commend you for that. Because a lot of people think that, you know, oh, we're going to just do a PowerPoint deck and this and that and do it out there. But it's hard to do that stuff, right? Oh, yeah. 
I it, you have to put work into it. You have to like really put a concept into it, get mm-hmm. buy in. And you've been asked, you know, we're not going to say who, but several of our brokers are making some big um, requests for you to do it directly for their teams now. Mm-hmm. Right. So, yeah. so they reached out and said, Hey, Chris, awesome job on that. We, we have people join. Now can you do this specifically for our office? And you're doing that too. Another service that we're, we're offering another partnership tool that we're offering so it's, i think all this is really important it's like you know it, it turned from this person saw me speak at our vibe event which is yes. information about that and we held our end of the bargain we said look we're going to open this stuff up and right. we were talking about it we set down marketing plans i think it was was the first part of that and uh and they're like yeah I mean, can you do uh, a, a zoom with our like a couple of hundred of our people, and I'm like, let's go, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. All day long. Now you did touch on something. I want to kind of, and again, we, there was no set direction of this conversation because we gel so well. You get me, I get. Yeah, you. I asked you like two minutes before this. I'm like, Chris, what are we talking again about? But, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But you, you mentioned Nicole Foster. You mentioned the relationship part of this, and you know, one thing that what we're doing here at Kind TPO right now at, and at Kind Lending is a lot of events. We're doing a lot of in-person things. Our account executives, I would venture to say, do some of the best in-person, in-face, in-office conversations with their partners. Yeah. And it's a beautiful thing to see, especially from, from the PTSD uh, that exists from 2020 and 2021, right, where everyone was on lockdown. And so we, we've made this huge shift and this huge energy and focus on this in-person. In fact, our office today, because I'm right down the hall from you today, is full. It's a beautiful thing to see. And and so, you know, we have committed to going out to AIM and, and NAM and and all of these events throughout the across the country, literally, right? Uh Dell's on a living on a plane. <laughs> yes, I am. I am. It, you know, it, it's good though, right? I, I do yeah. want to give a shout out to my wife who Tanya who hangs uh <laughs> holds down the fort for me, right? With all the kids that we have, but she's really helping me do what I do. But I, I think that being out there, Chris, the energy that's out here uh, is tremendous. Like uh the people moving around. If I'm not talking to Mark, to Pam, I just met with Natalie and Chrissy, which by the way, if if you don't know who Natalie and Chrissy are, you should follow them on LinkedIn, Natalie Cook and Chrissy Murphy. They're the best in the industry hand down for operations. Um they help us get more loans, right? And so that's a big piece of who we are. But just the energy of, of the, you know, coming back and forth in the office. I, li- I live in San Diego. As you know, I drive up to Irvine twice a week uh, to Costa Mesa. But um, it's 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 electric. It's it's electric, right? And I think that we need more of it. Can I can I just touch on something about authentic authenticity? Excuse me, right? Being authentic. So w- one of the one of the pieces that I think people are are starting to to know about is our culture. Okay. And I don't think, and I'm not just saying this because I work for Glenn and Mindy, right? They'll probably watch this and, and you know, but but they're the most authentic people that are out there. Okay. And and we as you know, we've been in planning sessions. That's why you're here in, in San Diego in Irvine, excuse me, but we talk about culture and all that. And it really comes down to uh Glenn and Mindy and how they are and then Yvonne and then the rest of us, right? But you tell me if somebody else is an owner that went around the room mm-hmm. to all the people that are in the building and knew something in detail about every single person, Incredible. right? You're there, right? Mindy went around and said, Delfino, you love the barbecue and your son's baseball. Chris, you let the, the Georgia Bulldogs and, you know, example, but to everybody in the room, right? That's authentic. That's really caring about your, your company, yeah. the people that are in there. Um, and the people that are doing the work every single day, and, and you know that Glenn and Mindy are in it, right? Every single day, you know, as a matter of fact, he just texted me twice right now, where am I, right? Like, so like they're in it every single day, right? And so that's a big piece of who we are, and it drives the authenticity of our, of our, co- of our company, because it truly is servant leadership here Absolutely. at Kind. It truly is us building our brand and building the broker community with partnering with us by being authentic. And, and it comes through in our marketing, Chris, and what you're doing. So I just wanted to touch on that because I get I had to share that story because it does separate 
um, you know, going from from good to great as a company. Right? It's, so, it's the personal touch. I, I, you know, you and I have been at multiple organizations. Again, like I mentioned, you and I work at a former company together as well, where the culture was great. And, yeah. and while you're at an organization, I had someone tell me this once. Uh, it's like Chris, Chris drinks the Kool Aid. I'm like, no, I don't. I'm offended that you said that. Yeah. Who I am is a cheerleader for the organization that I represent. Right? Yeah. Always, always. Um, but here it's it's the natural thing. It's not like oh, I'm just um, I'm just pretending, you know. Yeah. It's it's natural. Yeah. So when Mindy did that exercise, it's a it's a it's a good reminder that you have to have those personal touches. Marketing yeah. is neuroscience, right? It, it's, it's it's consumer behavior. It's data points, and you take all of those things and you make a natural uh, interaction, right? Yeah. It's with your a mortgage broker and real estate agent or a consumer or whatever. It's nobody wants to be uh, and Gen Z millennials. Everyone wants to be marketed authentically. Yeah, uh, and, and I think it's a new, it's a new cool man. It's a new. It? Remember, we were like uh, younger. The people watching this probably like, what the heck? But remember when you used to wear jeans? You used to cuff them around your shoes. No, you know, I don't know if you remember that. Maybe it's a lot older than me, but. You used to wear jeans and pants, you used to cuff and make them look cool. It was a cool thing to do, right? And now I think being authentic is is really what, what's happening out there, okay? And a lot of podcasts, you know, like you and I are wearing a suit and tie by choice, right? Like no one's making us do this. Like I fishing with Glenn, right? Yeah, oh, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But like it, it's it's just somebody was commenting on this earlier. He's like, hey, you guys wear ties. Yeah, why not? Right? Who cares? I don't gotta wear a t-shirt and jeans all the time. You know, so it's just our own style, being authentic and who we are. It also keeps a check on if I'm gaining weight or not, right? With my ties, right? You know, that's a good check, right? But, but, but I just think in general, Krish, what we, you know, what what marketing to me has always been is connection. It's connecting people, right? And it's 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 what we do here at Kind. It's what we did at the previous company as well, too, is connection. It's like, you know, the previous company had the I Can Help You brand, which we've talked about. And we really sit around the room and and think about how can we improve our broker's experience, not only our brokers, but the people that are actually doing the work with automation and like finding new ways to make things easier for for our team members or our kind of ambassadors, as we used to call them, as we call them. So, I mean, there's a lot of cool things happening and it all comes down to, starts with you, Chris, right? Getting the word out. How do we get the word out and building that brand, man? So what you're doing is great, man. Keep it up. Absolutely. For the for all the mortgage brokers that are listening to the podcast, stay tuned for um, a lot of information coming at you about our uh, Vibe 2024 event, which yep. we set, set the stage for. Uh, October 18th in Las Vegas at the Palms Hotel. That's going to be fun. Uh, Casino Resort is going to be incredible. The speaker lineup, be on the t- uh, lookout on all of the Kind TPO uh, social medias uh, and the kindtpo.com website. If you want to attend any of our events uh, and connect with us at Kind TPO, uh, we have like 30 something events coming up. A lot of events this year, man. I'm going to be flying around a lot too. Will's going to be speaking a lot of the, about non-QM. So we have Will out there too. Wendy's out there as well too. He's spreading the word on non-QM for us as well. But we also have a broker, a call, our monthly call on May 10th at 12 p.m. Pacific time. So look for that. We're going to talk about marketing. We're going to talk about our technology, the markets. We're going to have Mary Malloy on there. Mm-hmm. Um, talking about uh, what's happening with rates, direction of the economy, et cetera. She's our chief revenue officer. She's great, uh, really bright, really understands what, what's happening out there. So we're going to have her talk as well. So, and so yeah, we're going to include the link uh, that should show up on the screen, but it will be in the bottom, uh, kindtpo.com forward slash events. I believe that's or just go to kindtpo.com, click on events. Yep. Um, all of the events, the broker call, all of those are going to be right there for you to participate if you're going out to any of events reach out and we'll connect you with aes as well so uh make it a seamless transition uh on your on your trips uh lastly uh we've got a lot of amazing uh speakers coming up uh, we've got uh glenn hopefully if he agrees no but uh glenn and Lindy will be getting them on the show uh if you look at our previous if you're a broker feel free or a real estate agent whoever watch listen to some of these episodes we've got former VP of Facebook. We've got Shark Tank winner for uh, that has uh, creating Superfans book. Uh, we've got a lot of different types of guests. 
our, I mean, brokers and AEs and just the whole shebang. So we're not limited to just amazing colleagues like Dell. We have a really wide variety of guests on this show. Uh, as always, so Dell, really appreciate I know you're busy. I know you got to answer some texts right now. Yeah. Uh, but uh, <laughs> really excited to have you on the show. Um, again, follow Dell on social media. We'll have his links on here as well. Uh, he's got a wealth of information. If you haven't checked out his articles, he's a contributing writer on Scotsman Guide as well. So be sure to check those out as well. Uh, sure. thank, thank you for joining. And as always, we like to end our show with Stay Curious and Keep Marketing. There you go. Thanks for having me, man.